it's an example of a nonlinear analysis. So I already defined everything. Um, and it's only, I have three mesh sets. I'll show you the boundary conditions. So this plate is fixed like that around. I have a static uh, displacement on this part. And I have some contacts between the two. So between these two uh, elements in blue, I have um, a simple welded contact. And be between the other part, the blue one here, the thin plate and the big uh, plate, I have a breaking weld contact. So this is a type of contact that uh, Midas pro uh, procures and which helps to see the um, uh, the breaking of the contact during the analysis. So you can use that with composite material as well. So in order to show you that I've assigned uh, 3D composite material to the plate which is the thinner uh, of this plate. So to assign 3D composite material it's exactly the same than uh, 2D. So you have the stacking sequence. So what I define is simply uh, two alloy steel which uh, are symmetric uh, 0 degree and uh, 90 degree. And I will show you the results. So first of all the displacement. So I, I will put first to real. So uh, it gives me something like that. So this is nonlinear static analysis. So when I go through the steps, uh, you see the form of the behavior is changing. As you, it's difficult to see. So I will increase the scale and come back to the beginning. So you see from there, when the analysis continue, the contact is breaking uh, with the plate. And finally, I have something like that. So there's a space between the, the two. And the, this plate is made in composite material, so I can check the result for composite as well. And this is the form the stress for the ply one. So it gives you something like that. Of course, I increase a lot the deformation. It's uh, only, it's uh, quite small, actually. But it is to show you that the composites can as well uh, be used into three-dimensional analysis. And you can use also this breaking weld analysis in order to uh, analyze this kind of uh, uh, behavior.